Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as we are returning to the high seas of Black Sails season one, episode two. And I was talking about the show to somebody. I noticed that all the episodes were just numbered. So this is called two. Episode two called two. So we got dumped in, in media rays. Lots of people, things are going down. We met Captain Flint, who was looking, I guess, I don't know if he's looking, but he's on the trail of a Spanish ship that's supposed to have a bajillion dollars worth of gold on it. But the piece he needs was stolen by John Silver. Why is John Silver called Long John Silver? Anywho, John has the piece. Nobody knows. Then we got Captain Bane, who just wants to be the head of the pirates. I'm guessing who's now about to hear about said pirate Spanish ship treasure. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's it in a nutshell. <laughs> but I'm excited to get right to it. And I'm so glad that you are here with me, especially if it's subscribed. I would greatly appreciate it. And also remember a full episode watch along is available on Patreon. And today, because I'm watching all the things, I'm going to try to watch all of the things. I think what I'll do for every episode of Black Sails, whatever I drink, it's going to have citrus in it <laughs> because of the scurvy. It makes me laugh. <laughs> so I've got some sparkling water with some lime slices in it. I hope you have your favorite beverage. You're under the big cozy blanket. Even though it's 80 degrees outside today, it is cold in the basement. So I had to put on a sweater, but I hope it's comfortable where you are and let's get to it. My father still lived here. This place was a fucking mess. Why all this talk of your father? Hell yeah, how long has it been since father has disappeared? Man of war was spotted yesterday. It's only a day, it's been a day, okay. Perhaps you can buy this place. Mm, that's all we need an in. Max could be your partner. How will Mr. Noonan feel when he hears of this plan? I think maybe soon what Mr. Noonan fears would be of no concern to me. Did we meet Mr. Noonan? Was that her, her seemingly business partner? Where is he? He says he wants to be the first one Flint sees when it's done. Ah. So apparently they had not heard what went down. Was it the walrus? I mean, you think so? If Flint had been voted off, would he have been allowed to actually leave the ship? Because I don't think so. I think when you're voted off, you're done. Billy. Billy. Is he gonna share? He's gonna share. He's gonna share. Jesus. He's got his share. What did I do? Well, well, kept Flint in charge. Singleton was already dead either way. We don't like thieves. You shouldn't steal. That's what happens. Oh, and they left him out. They just like, they didn't just leave him lying. They, they displayed him. Oh, you're the cook, so you cook. <laughs> Get to cooking. He wasn't no thief, Randall. <gasps> wow. Not now. Okay, so we've got more guys conniving in. Schedule's here on the island. Whoever stole it came back to read the log, find out exactly what it was they had. Someone on that deck out there is a thief. New guy! Well, it can't be one of our men. How would they have known to look for it? New guy. And then take it from the prize. We're all searched. Were they? What? The cook. I found him hiding in the armory, standing over a dead body. Did you search him? Get the cook! Hold that boat. There will be another. <laughs> Where are you gonna run to? Where are you gonna run to, pumpkin? <laughs> you gonna jump off the ship?
he's gonna jump off the side of the ship. Pull him up! That kid must really want to get laid. <laughs> Lazo him up. Well, now they at least they know where they're going, ish. They have a lead. Who's beating up the girls? Noonan know about this. Fifty pieces they paid her. That's worth a few nicks to the hull, wouldn't you say? Wow. Wow. You can never forget who these men are. They're not our friends. They're not our subjects. They want your father's business. That is the only reason we do not find their knives at our throats. Tell me you understand. Be honest. Is it bad? Not as bad as the other girls. 5,000 pesos in pearls. Don't leave much in the reserves. An investment. What are you up to, Jack? Oh, oh. It seems that Captain Flint has for weeks been chasing a piece of information that would enable the bearer to know the precise whereabouts of the Spanish treasure galleon, Erka de Lima. He wasn't going to tell him he was going to buy this. Is that what was happening? You'd empty our reserves to purchase what? A scrap of paper someone told you may be worth something. They have no reason to lie to me. They have 5,000 reasons to lie to you. Ugh. Well, I doubt the crew will share your sentiments with what they stand to gain. <laughs> or are we to sit here patiently, waiting for Eleanor Guthrie to arrive? Remind me, how many leads have the Guthries brought us since you two had your falling out? Oh, yeah, there's that backstory. Find me when Singleton's back and it's done. Mr. Singleton shall not be returning. <laughs> well, he knows Max. John knows Max. But I think the other three know the island better. I guess I'm so used to seeing Tom Hopper as Luther that he looks so tiny here. Apologies. Don't let me interrupt. Wait your f***ing turn! Certainly. Outside! <laughs> How long before Flint discovers I had the part in this? When the man is being f***ed, he wants to know whose cock was in him. But by that time, these two cocks will be in a boat halfway to Port Royal. After I get payment, we meet at the boat in the cove and leave tonight. She doesn't want to leave Eleanor. Unless there's something else keeping you here. I was told Richard Gosley was the fence in Nassau. But unless he went and sprouted tits, you're not him. <laughs> I run the operation here alongside my retainer, Mr. Scott. A schoolgirl and a sugar monkey. Do you want your goods sold or not, sir? Well... Port Royal's not that far. I think I'll keep my hull and my profits. Though you might want to keep that decision to yourself. Oh, why is that? Because the last fool who turned it down was never seen or heard from again. Well, perhaps you'll find me more of a match than that other craven bastard. James Bridge of the Demeter. Formerly of the Demeter. Of the I guess his reputation precedes him. The Negro gentleman takes our goods, does he? Okay, okay. So she needs Bane kind of to be a muscle to get her what she needs. Ooh. Mm. My crew hasn't been given the same kind of information from you about potential prizes that we once did. God, his eyes are blue. Holy crap. You've noticed that, haven't you? I believe it to be personal, and I'd like to put an end to it. The idea that I would withhold valuable leads for personal reasons is fucking absurd. I stop providing you with intelligence because I don't like the way you run your ship. For as much money as they bring in, they cause twice as much damage. And that makes you a poor investment. Ooh. You killed a member of a crew that has value to me in order to depose a captain that has value to me. <laughs> And now, not only do you expect to be forgiven, 
from where I sit, you coming here means one of two things. Either you're under the illusion that with Flint gone, I have no other choice than to give you what you want. Or you think because you and I used to up, you can cross me without any consequence. I'm not sure which of the two is more stupid. Oh. Son of a bitch. You made it. Word has gotten out. Word has gotten out. I'm so glad you're entertained. I'm sorry, weren't we supposed to be looking for the cook? We are. Take a load off. Fruit, fruit, tits, tits. Is he listening? The point, the point is I lied to my own crew to protect the captain. You lied to protect the crew. You saw the Scarborough, mate. You know what's coming. We can't thieve forever. No need. There's a man that they... Where? The brothel. Because if I'm this cook and I want to sell the schedule and leave this place a rich man, I need two things. Jules, I'm stinking pearls. And I want to know the exact value of what I'm getting. I love when Gates explains what's happening. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Any chances after a quick fuck? With Anne Bonnie standing guard. Oh, that's Anne Bonnie. Oh, okay. Rest assured, young lady, the quality is quite good. My father's under arrest. A fugitive, technically. This is impossible. He's been bribing the Lord's proprietor for years. It would appear they've had a change of heart. You don't seem concerned about this. I never much liked your father. <laughs> we are finished here. Under normal circumstances, I'd agree with you. However, let me tell you a story about a Spaniard named Vasquez. <laughs> so, Scarborough Captain, they killed him, right? I know he was injured. Fighting ensued. I can't remember the outcome of that. It's been a few days. Is there a problem, Captain? He doesn't have your page. Flint does. He killed Singleton, took it off his body. Oh, yeah, that's right. That story. That is that possible. Story. My partner has the page. What? Mr. Singleton is not the seller, I assure you. Play me for a fool. You are mistaken. Get the fuck off. <gasps> she isn't lying, Charles. Flint is. He lost the page. So what does he do? He bluffs. He makes Singleton the thief and kills him to prevent counter-argument, putting a tidy end to his mutiny in the process and hopes he can recover it before anyone's the wiser. Wow, this man put it together rather quickly. You know what you do? You can fuck us out of our money and then hide behind you. Jesus. That's fucking pathetic! You're gonna get your eye poked out! <gasps> Unless Mr. Singleton rose from the grave to eavesdrop on us, it would appear she's telling the truth. With money like that and my father out of business, why not run? It's coming our way. Can't be outrun. But with the money I stripped from the hulk, we could add 50 guns to the fort. Oh. We could build ships to defend our shores and train. Oh, that's just plan. A nation of thieves. <laughs> you have your doubts? Mm. Turning pirates into farmers and soldiers. That part a little bit, yes. Doubt, Captain Flint, does not begin to describe how I am feeling. They're not animals, Mr. Scott. They're men starved of hope. Give that back to them. Who's to say what could happen? And keep walking. Until somebody mistakes that all for a shovel. For that would be the place that no man had ever been troubled by the sea. And that's where he'd find peace. I, I don't think that island's big enough for Flint to find his peace. We missed the thief, but he's using a whore as a go between. I left Billy to keep an eye on things. If we... <laughs> she nearly got herself killed by Captain Bain. I want to know why. Leave us alone, Noonan. Oh, that is Noonan, thank you. Does 
she knows she knows. You and I have a decision to make and it must be made right now. I'm about to receive a great deal of money for a service I provided. Max, I need you to give me the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Bow, bow, bow. How do you know this? Mm. It doesn't matter. If the page isn't delivered to Vane, he will kill me. I can protect you. Scott can protect you. You have to trust me. I know about that. Leave with me. I have a boat waiting. I will have enough money for us to start new. But I can't leave here. Why not? Because I've spent my life trying to build something here. Mm-hmm. It's all I have. I can't just walk away. It is not all you have. Everyone you have ever loved, you have lost, and it terrifies you. But not me. I will never, ever leave you. Unless you say... I love you. Don't. You're not coming with me, and I have to give you the schedule. Miss Guthrie. He bought them you? Well, now I will leave you. <laughs> the bot is waiting. We can be free of this place. All you have to do is say yes. I don't think you're going far with that money, even if you got it there, Max. Come in. Max, I need you to tell me where the page is. And if I don't, then what? Yeah, then what? This doesn't have to go badly. I want her to say that she would sit there and watch as you beat the answer out of me to save this place. Oh. 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 Say it. Who are you? It's your ally, Eleanor. The Rex at sundown. Oh. Oh, well, it didn't take beating, physical, but there was some emotional going on there. I meant what I said. I can protect you. Get the fuck out! <laughs> well, Max, you were a little, maybe a little too optimistic, which is kind of sad to think the life she led, that she had any sort of hope or optimism in her. She wasn't beaten down, but now she's beaten down. Oh, oh. And how's this gonna go down? And this does not look sundown. This looks pitch of night. What are you doing, pumpkin? He says, you give me the post. Did he say anything else? Someone's no. coming up besides John Biden. I know you can hear me. You want your money, you show your face. That's the only way this gets done. Captain, I'm afraid our friend out there has all the leverage in this particular situation. No, he doesn't. And stamp our feet, but it doesn't change the fact that unless we give this fellow the... Oh, that poor man! That did not need to go that way! Did that, ne that did not need to go that way. They could just say we're not going to buy it from you. And then get it from him another way. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, another old man. Says you can be the pearl. He didn't hear what just happened. <laughs> he, he didn't hear what just happened. Oh, oh Jesus, Billy! <laughs> that was stealthy. All I see are twisted ankles, contusions. Twisted ankles. These don't necessarily look like, oh, you're just gonna memorize them? 
You're gonna memorize them and then burn it in the dark. Is that your plan? I wouldn't trust, I couldn't trust my memory. Like my memory, ah! That's a lot to memorize under stress. But that is a plan. Yeah, she does. <laughs> they took him back there. Do you mind if we stash him here for the night? Then he can stand guard. Thanks. He says, thanks for volunteering me for this position. Flynn will want our answer in the morning. I know you don't approve of this, but I need to do this. Seems like Scott doesn't pr approve a lot of things Eleanor does. Does Flint have a side wife? Or just a wife wife? Take off your boots. I'll boil some water. Did I miss what happened to him? Or has he just been holding it the whole time and as soon as he crossed the door, he's like, oh, I'm in a safe place. Is that what happened? Is that what happened? Yeah, that whole little last bit with Flint. I was doing this. The squinty eyes only because when we saw him check out like where the men were his hands were covered in blood and i don't remember him actually physically having an altercation <laughs> recently <laughs> enough unless those were still wounds from his fight with singleton but they were pretty bloody and then him walking through the door and just collapsing i'm like does he get injured somewhere recently i don't remember but i'm thinking that's his wife could possibly be a daughter. I don't know. They all kind of look the same age regardless of age. But it's a haven. I'm guessing it's a haven. I don't know how I feel about John yet. Because they haven't really made him like a hero of the story like they have with Flint. Flint, I get it. Goal, motivation. He's established. He is established. John, don't know any of his backstory. We don't know how he got on the, the first ship. He's an opportunist. We got that. So he's just trying to find a way to make as much money as he can quickly. He's sly. But I don't know what else John wants. What is his essence? Like what the kind of person he is other than opportunistic. That's it. That's all we know about John. So I don't know if I want him to succeed or if I care about him succeeding. Not like I do Flint. Fane, like if I was going to, okay. So if I was going to rank who I understand more, Flint's at the top. John's down here. Eleanor's here. Vane's kind of in here. Because I got that he wants to like be the big dog. Pirate captains. He's quick. To violence but where he came from what happened with him and Eleanor why 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 I'm intrigued by that and the fact that when he's with her alone he's pretty rational maybe a little slight he's silently arrogant I guess if that's a phrase the way he was saying you're cutting me out of business don't do that we need to be back on the same page 
like ever so threateningly. And her going, you caused so much damage. You're a bad investment. That, that whole interlude, intriguing. But I don't know if I want Vane to succeed either. So John memorizing a page of crap. <laughs> Did you see my eyes cross? I felt them cross. That's faulty as hell. That's faulty as hell. I, if I, okay, so if I was John, making me the map, essentially, brilliant, keeps you alive. But I would have stashed it somewhere. There is no proof that he burnt the page. Where's his proof? So I would have stuck it down like it rocks or something. Would I have been able to find it during the day? Probably not with any ease, but at least I would know it was there. Just in case. Just in case. Because now you're trusting a dude's memory that you don't trust at all. You don't trust the man. Why should you trust his memory? And poor Max. <laughs> Max got her answer. Max got her answer. The island means more to Eleanor than Max does. Is that a surprise? No. But it was still sad. She's crushed and will Anne let her get away? Will Anne let Max get away? Interesting. Intriguing. There's lots of threads. So many threads. So many threads. I don't know, but I'm enjoying myself. I hope you're enjoying yourself as well. So, okay. So, until next time. Do not be a stranger. Hit subscribe so you know when the next video of something drops. And this is your reminder to please take a moment, breathe, and also your reminder that if you haven't in a while, go eat something. As I always say, toast is magical. At least have a piece of toast. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.